All right, welcome back. So um, we're going to walk through step by step how we can create this um, streaming lit app. Okay, so we're going to um, let's let's go to the code and then I'll show you what you have to do. I'm going to walk you through the code and then I um, mean step by step so that you do it. Um, I mean you can do it by yourself. All right, and then you can also change whatever you want to change and then update whatever you want to update. Just customize it to the way that you want it. Okay. You don't have to follow it the same way that I did it. You have to um, be as creative as you want, okay, and then create it, I mean, in your own way, all right? So here, um, you need to first do some setup over here before you can um, start, okay? So the first thing is to install the libraries. Now, in this case, we're going to use your command line, or if you're on, I mean, if you're on Windows, you're gonna use command line. If you're on Mac, you're going to use your terminal, okay? So um, I'm going to, let me undo this and uh, let me see this one. All right. So you're going to go here. All right. So the first thing I've given you what you're supposed to do over here. Right. So first thing you need to run this command pip install dash um, r and then requirements dot txt. Right. You just have to copy this code. Now I've given you a folder at the resource session which you can find all these things. Right. If you go to the resource session, you're supposed to see a folder which is named as a resume. Okay, you're supposed to see a folder which is named as a resume over there. Okay, inside there is what you have, couple of things over here. Okay, you have couple of things over there. So what I am showing you, this one, this app.py, right, is this one. Okay, so if you download it, you will see it over there, right? And then we also have this one. So um, if you want to create everything by your own, I mean, by yourself, you can just create a new folder, right? And then you name it as I've given here. Right, create a folder and name it, right? For example, resume, just like I've done it, okay? And then inside that folder, you can create um, two more folders inside with that, okay? Which is gonna be, um, you can name one as logo, you can name one as uploaded resume, okay? So here, um, you can see that I have one folder called logo and then one folder called uploaded resume, okay? So maybe on your desktop, you can just create one folder, right? And then you name it as a resume, Okay, you can name it like that. And then when you open it, right, when you open that folder, you can just um, create two more folders here. One, you can call it um, logo, right? And then you can create one more, right? That one, you can call it, um, say, uploaded underscore image, okay? Right, uploaded underscore image, I mean, resume, right? So, I mean, let me go and then change it. You can name it the way that you want, just that you have to see where I change it in, I mean, where I used it in the code so that you can use it the same way, okay? So that you can use it the same way. Because if the name doesn't match, then you're gonna have some error over there, right? So if you come to the code, I'll show you where this uploaded resume is, okay? I'll show you where it is in the code so that you can name it the way you want and then um, you can change it. So that's two, files you have to create initially right then um, there are other two files that you have to also create right which is the app.py and then the courses.py okay so here um, you can you can use any test editor um, I like using sublime test and I'm sure by now you should have it also or you should have your preferred test editor okay so this is sublime test that I'm using here okay so if I can do new right and then this one you can save it as app Okay, you can just save it as, right? Then you can just name it as app.py, right? And then make sure that you are saving it in that resume folder. Okay, in this case, our resume folder is on desktop. Okay, so I can make sure that um, I go into that folder, right? And then I save it over there. Okay, so make sure that it is in that resume um, folder. Okay, I can just simply put it on desktop. And then when I come to desktop, I will see it um, somewhere on desktop. Let me see, let me see where it is here. Okay, so here I can just pick it and then put it in my resume um, folder. Okay, I can just put it there. So now I have this one there. I have to create one more. Okay, I have to create one more here. So I do new, right? And then this one, I'm going to call it, um, if you see what I gave you, right? I am going to call it courses.py. So I've created this one. So now I'm going to create another one and this one I'm going to name it uh, name it as courses right dot py right I'll show you what we're gonna put over there in that courses 
Okay, so if I go to the desktop, I'll see that courses over there. I'm supposed to find it somewhere on desktop. Let's see, let's see, where are you, where are you? Let me go here. I think I've put it in a different desktop. I have two different desktops, so let me go to the to this particular desktop. Okay, you see that it's there, right? So I can just um just copy this one and then because I want it to be in this folder, I can put it over here. Okay, so now so far this is what I have. Okay, this this what I have created these um I mean these files. Okay, I've created these files, not this one. I mean this one. I've created one, two, three, and then four. These four files is what I've created. So um, this one I've given you already, right? It's just a test file. If you open it, you see that it's just libraries that are there, which you are going to install next. Okay. So make sure that you've created these uh, four files, logo, courses.py, app.py, and then uploaded, um, I mean, resumes. Okay. That is if you want to create everything from scratch, you can just do that. All right. Okay. So um, let me see what I can do here. Okay, let's go back to this. Let's go here. All right. Now you need to now open your um. Let me, uh, I mean, make this one large or bigger so that you see it. All right. Open your terminal or open your command line. If you're Windows, you use your command line. If you're on uh, Mac, then you're gonna use your terminal. Okay. So here first, um, before you even write this code, what you have to do is that you make sure that you are in the folder that you have created. So this um, folder that we just created, right? For instance, if you have put it on your desktop, you need to go into desktop, okay? You need to go into desktop and then you go into that folder, right? So now I'm going to go into CD desktop, right? Once I do that, then I do again CD and then I go into that folder. All right, you see that now I'm in that folder, right? I'm in that folder, All right? If I do ls right now, you see that these are the four files that I have, right? I have courses.py logo, uploaded resume, and then app.py. Okay, this, this is what I have, All right? Okay, so uh, once you have these ones, then you are good to go. Okay, you are good to go. All right, you are good to go. So let's go here. Um, as I said, I've given you the um let's 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 see this one yeah let me go all the way here all right i've given you the instructions over here so these are the things that you need to install so first thing just copy this code right then copy this code and then um you go to your you go to this you go to your terminal okay and then you can paste it there and then you can install okay you can install i've already installed it so it's, there's no need for me to install it again but in your case you just have to paste it there press enter and you're good to go okay once you do that then the next one um the next one that you have to do is uh, is this one right you know you need to now run this one right pip install nltk and then you run this one pip install spacey this type of spacey i mean this version right and then you do this one pip install right this one is going to download the i mean if you remember when we're, when we're doing name entity recognition we used this um encore web sm right we use that one so that's what we're going to use over here right it's a pre-built um name entity recognition model over there which you can use all right so that's that's what we're going to use and then you install um pyres parser okay you install that one i'll show you what you're going to use that for so these are the things that you need to do initially okay now, once you, once you are done with that one, then you can come and then, I mean, we've already done the second one, which is creating the folders. Okay. So now we go, we're going to go to this one. This is supposed to be three and this is supposed to be four. Okay. So now we're going to go to the step three, which is to start your SQL database. Okay. Now here, what we're going to do is that we're going to connect SQL database to the app that you're going to create. Okay. The app that you're creating the data that you're going to have is going to be stored in your SQL database. Okay, so you need to also um, make sure that you connect your SQL database. Now, we've, we've done a lot of things in SQL, right? Right from the beginning of the course, we did a lot in SQL. So I'm sure you are familiar with SQL. Okay, we're going to combine that skills over here as well. So um, you need to now start your SQL. Remember, we use my SQL and then we use a SQL Workbench. Okay, so if you didn't go to through that video, you have to go back and then check how we installed it. Okay, I'm not saying go and watch the entire video, but 
you at least watch how to install SQL, okay, so that you can connect and then work, work alongside, all right? So I have my SQL workbench here, right? In your system, you can easily search. If you're on Mac, you can easily search um, my SQL and it's gonna be there, okay? Your, your SQL. So what I want you to start is the my SQL workbench, which I've created, okay? And then you also make sure that it's connected, right? If you do this one, you see that it's there and it's connected, okay? It's connected. If it's connected, you're gonna see the green, green ones here. And you know that your SQL is also working and is up and running, okay? So that's basically what we are going to um, do, okay? So make sure that you also set that one up as well. And then after that, we can now walk through the code step by step, okay?